All right, so we're here in Bethlehem, PA, at our uh, Airbnb, getting up slowly, getting ready to go to the course here soon, get a little preview, and uh, race club cross tomorrow. So, yeah. What was that last part you said? Club cross. I thought I heard that right. How's the Airbnb? It's uh, it's very nice. It's it's old. It has character, like Morgan. <laughs> Weird stairs, though. Yeah, the Very stairs are stairs. the stairs are like quite six steep. inches deep, so you have to walk at like an angle, yeah. so you don't slip off one each time. <laughs> We've broken the Airbnb. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. We're leaving in like twenty minutes. I'll be there. Okay. Do you want any food? Uh, I'll take a quick snack. A bar. <laughs> Good morning, Sid. Good morning. How was our sleep? It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Got in like almost 11 hours of sleep. I was I was missing some sleep from yesterday. So how's how's the whoop looking? Um. Oh, I gotta check that. Yeah. But you know, that's that's the truth. That's the real data. You know. This is bad, folks. This is not good. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, see, look at that. Hey, I just don't, sli I don't sleep. Not on. I don't sleep. We are putting in these spikes to sacrifice the blood of our enemies to the cross country gods. Now, the course is supposed to be pretty muddy and it's going to be soft ground, so we're trying to get as much purchase as we can. And for purchase for all the layman's people, that's traction. Oh, yeah. We're not buying nothing. <laughs> looks really good. A little hillier than anticipated, but we've trained for a lot of hills, so I think we're ready. It's not as muddy as we thought it was going to be, but we are the last race tomorrow, so it's going to be pretty sloppy by the end. Oh, it looks good. Uh, it reminds me of like UVA's course like, from yeah. college, uh, except without the big hill. So it's a little, a little uh, gradual, which would be nice. And you have a little gradual downhill as well. So yeah, I'm excited. I mean, being the mile or 800 guy on the group. If I'm not scared of it, sure as hell, I can believe these guys are scared of it. When you guys come, like, on the first loop, I would say let's not run the hill that hard. No, I'm gonna chill. Like, I'm gonna let everyone roll. Like, like don't be past, don't, don't be passing people up the hill. Cause you're like, just getting the spikes on, get testing like them out, getting a couple strides them, in before like we're done, so. Just testing out, see what we got. Some really long spikes, so I'm a little excited for them. I'm a little nervous, but you gotta have that grip. There's a couple like wood bridges and stuff like that, so it could be some clacking out there, and lots of guys just go clack, 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 clack. So we'll see. Second. Do you know how to turn this light on? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Days over, uh, pre-meet done this morning, uh, a little dinner with coach and going over some race plans was, was done just an hour ago. Uh, now it's just time to wind down and uh, get ready for bed. We'll probably be up at between 7 and 10 a.m. tomorrow to get ready for the race. Uh, but aside from that, just chilling, uh, no stress, uh, you know, not much thought for the, for the rest of the time being. Race day. Everyone's kind of getting up slowly, getting breakfast, getting their aches and pains loosened up and everything, and uh, gonna head over the course here shortly and get ready to go, get business done. Excited, really, really excited. 
Yeah. I'm just like, it's gonna be fun. There's no two ways about it, you know? It's like, there's no nervousness at all. I'm just like excited to like go out there and be like stride for stride with the six other dudes and have the same intention that I do. It's gonna be awesome. I, I feel great. I don't think I've had this much confidence going into a race since like NCAAs. I definitely like didn't uh, I wanted to come in and not lose to anybody that wasn't on our team and uh, you know Mo really broke it open early and uh, I just kind of followed this year's theme or this season's theme of just like kind of being the hunter and um, you know when he broke loose then it was kind of him and then Hillary Bohr and then me so I was really just focusing on getting Hillary and once I kind of passed him and knew that I had kind of put him in the dust then uh, I was really just sort of trying to gained as much ground as I could on Mo and like I was just I wasn't feeling great but you know that's that's days like today this course was brutal it was muddy it really sucked the life out of me um, but like yeah just a super fun day it's always fun to get a team win I really was able to compete from a, a place of, uh, of like calm there were so many points in the race where I was like oh wow this sucks and then I was like you know what no I'm a strong runner I am a good runner I'm surrounded by good guys Woo! I'm gonna make something happen for these guys and they're gonna make something happen for me that's the way it played out um, somewhere over the course of the last K, Reed started coming up on me, and I was able to be like, ah, oh, no, nah, I ain't gonna let Reed <laughs> This is I Brian's first team win. win. This, this is my first team win ever, ever for a cross-country race. No one I'd rather spend yeah. it with.